People from both sides of the aisle surrounded the Pennsylvania Convention Center today, some to encourage the ballot handlers inside and others arguing about the process. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is in Center City tonight. Greg? Yuki, good evening, and right now a much quieter scene outside of the Pennsylvania Convention Center here in Center City. You can see just a handful of the demonstrators remain. There were many more earlier this afternoon, most in support of Vice President Biden, who are calling for each and every vote to be counted. They started gathering here hours ago to counter a press conference held by Trump campaign officials alleging voter fraud. Tonight, though, those that remain, of course, remain peaceful and upbeat. Music, balloons, and dancing. All the ingredients of a block party. This is just showing our celebration of who we are as the city of Philadelphia. A few hundred people gathering near 12th and Arch Streets, across from the convention center, inside the quiet tabulation taking place of the outstanding ballots, the results of which could determine who wins the White House. I'm here just to remind, I guess, the workers and for everyone in Philadelphia that we do need the votes to be counted. Keisha Usher Martin, a Biden supporter, is referring to a lawsuit filed by the Trump campaign in Pennsylvania, asking for the vote counting to stop and arguing Republican election observers were not given proper access to the vote counting process. A judge denied the first request, but is allowing observers from both sides to watch the counting from a socially distant six feet. Who's recounting the votes that they didn't get to view already? That's the question from Leanne Savloff, a Trump supporter who says she's concerned about the hundreds of thousands of already processed votes, which were tallied without the proper supervision. And then we got to start the count over because every count should vote or matter. So therefore, if every count should matter, every vote should matter. We should go back and go through all of them one by one by one again. But both sides agree if all the valid votes are calculated fairly, they'll accept the winner of this election. I like show me all of it. And then you won or you lost, regardless of who the winner is. The eyes have been dotted and the teeth have been crossed. And whatever the result, as long as every vote has counted, I think that's what democracy is. And back here live near 12th and Arch Streets in front of the Pennsylvania Convention Center, you can still see a very large police presence. You can expect these men and women to remain stationed surrounding the Convention Center until a final decision is made. We're live here in Center City. I'm Greg Argos, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Greg, thank you.